Pure Water, your pride, pure Jamaican. Pure Water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday, June 11th, 2021, Open Gate Show Race Day Preview. Of course, you should practice social distancing. Still, wear your mask, sanitize your hands, and remember to drink Jamaica's Pure Pride bottled water. It's pure water, a pure water we drink. Herbal Shore, a herbal tonic that has done tremendously for those who have already purchased it. I am one example, and it has done a great deal for me. So many people are taken to this herbal shore. All you need to do is call 876-426-7707. That's 876-426-7707. The Open Gate Show is sending condolence to the Todd family in the untimely loss of the veteran trainer, Richard Todd, a man that is approachable by anyone, and he will give his opinion. Sometimes you will agree with him, sometimes you don't. We will surely miss another icon in our local authorized industry. The opening gate show has started, well, we've restarted conducting our open gate show special interviews and previews. Make sure you subscribe and see what the open gate show has. Supreme Ventures Racing, Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited has introduced the Tech Nine. It simulates the Pick Nine, but it's it's about it promises to be much easier in that there will be monetary rewards for those who didn't select all nine winners. Well, we have to be very careful with the track and pool because yet again, the Reggae 6 carryover as well as the Pick four, that pick four will be starting tomorrow at race four. There are carryovers in those exotic wagering. You know, it's, it's really amazing that regardless of the complaints of these burning issues by punters, nothing has been done. It was nice to see trainer Jason DaCosta at the Ocala sales this morning. Of course, he's purchasing horses to return to Jamaica. We need to see more Jamaican horsemen there. But there is some there's a there's an issue at the quarantine station in the, at Port Royal. Hopefully, it should be solved within a matter of well before June ends. Tomorrow's 10 race card, we have the Cardenas on eight rides, Anthony Thomas on four, Dane Nelson, sorry, Anthony Thomas on seven and Dane Nelson on four. Apprentices, O'Neill, uh, Jordan Barrett, and O'Shane Nugent, as well as Tevin Foster, all with six rides. Female rider, Samantha Fletcher, she has four. First race, 12.05 p.m. It's a five furlong, it's, it's a native bred five year old and up main condition race. They go 11 furlong, 1100 meters or five and a half furlongs, 10 were declared. Number two, the final blue makes, well, he doubled on January the 20th and ran no race at all. Came back off a sojourn on the, 6th, the 8th of May, 2021. 
and run an improved race with the figure on, which I can tell you it will be off now. He, he ran four, five from straight, four length six to secret law, rid him up King Liberty. Nothing to really boast about. As a matter of fact, a few horses in this race, or most of the top ones, ran in that race, and they all clustered up to be a length, well, three length behind, uh, away from each other in total. Uh, Final Blue mm, had scope for improvement, and um, let's see what uh, what type of horse will show up, as there's no work on this one. Number four, Lyceum, I've been knocking on the lower end of the board. That is expected here. And if you're going by that May 8, five from straight display, what that secret law won, Lyceum was three and four. So there are others as well that uh, were in near proximity of that one. So it's hard to gauge. Number five, Bob Boyd, Theodore was in the race on the, May of, on the 8th of May, finished two and a half and fifth. The secret law and, and everything. Anyway, this race is going on around now. Mark Bar Theodore had a subsequent start against winners and didn't show anything. It's back now, very light, with female apprentice Samantha Fletcher remaining. Number eight, Monsieur Monsieur, 57 kilos, Dane Dawkins, the tongue tie will be on for the first time in 14 career starts. This one, last two display showed some grit uh hasn't been running keeping a straight course in the stretch well let's see what the experience of being docks will, will do 50 some kilos i'm not too really worried about that weight here because it's about it's, well, it's a set that it's hard to divide number nine little red had some speed was up with the leaders on the 23rd of may going what six furlongs and at, the, and at the furlong point was the leader but ended up third five length behind Stacey's lady and monsieur monsieur uh did i say this one ran third i hope so well that's what this horse ran little red will be up again with the leaders but i'm not expecting a win any of these can win, so don't watch my order of selections. Number eight, Monsieur Monsieur. Number nine, Little Red. Number two, Little Final, final Blue. Number four, Lysim. Number five, Bad Boy Theodore. Second race goes the minimum curve. Five furlongs run over 1,000 meters. Uh, for Little Bird, four is up. Number three, as well as imported four and up, who have never won two races. Eight were declared. Number one, Chitu Prince, if he can relax, he will pose a problem for all and sundry. Let's see what happens. Number three, Basilicos, very light, recently changed stable to a, a barn that is really firing. Basilicos should be the horse to beat. Let's see. Number four, Elitis, very fit and that last run on the 23rd of, 29th of May rather, going five and a half furlongs, when he closed to get within a length and a half behind helicopter, had KD Rocket who was in this race, uh, well, they did eat it for a second. Um, elitist must be given some consideration for the top four. Number five, Glock, very disappointing horse. Uh, flat is to deceive, and you can take your chances on that one. Omar Walker goes two kilos overweight to ride this one. That's interesting. Number six, High Diplomacy gets the Cardenas. Number seven, KD Rocket, with the strong handling of Robert Haldane, uh, was, as I, well, dead heated with KD, with, with Elitis on last. I'm expecting KD Rocket to be in front of Elitis, regardless, it's a half a furlong shorter. Number three, Basilicos, number one, number one, Chitu Prince, number four, Elitis, sorry, number seven, Katie's Rocket, number four, Elitis, number six, High Diplomacy for the lower order. 
third way, five furlongs round is for children up claiming tag 200 to 250,000 who have not earned 150,000 since the 12th of February 2021. Nine were declared number one Balazo. Uh, just got a, a recent change of stable this week before nomination. Uh, it's capable of handling these. Number three, Fortune 100. Recent, recent claim has speed and um, should be given a chance. Very light and comes from the lethal barn of trainer Anthony Sebrati. Number four, Regal Prospector. One that you, you should have in your low exotic order. Number five, Smokey Topaz makes a drop down in tag. Uh, last three runs were far apart and that says a lot. He has been weakening approaching the winning post. Let's see what he will do tomorrow in this suspected field. Should, however, be given top consideration. Number six, Prince of Statistics uh, should be part of it, but not to win. Number seven, Sweet Destiny. Um, as it all to do, could be in your lower order. Number eight, Inferno Flames, a US importee who has not won any races since here in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, still a maiden worldwide. Inferno Flames it's taken trainer Ryan Darby a long time to straighten this one out. Going on the curve, I don't like him. Regardless, Anthony Thomas gets the call. Number nine, sharp skirt. Uh, normally runs when focus could be looked at. My selection for this race, number one, Balazzo. Number three, Fortune 100. Number nine, sharp skirt. Number five, Smokey Topaz. One of those should win. Fourth race. This is for Nady Bed Falls and up. It's a maiden condition race. Eight were declared. They go five for straight or a thousand meters straight. Number one, Stole Treasure. Ran his best race and last when uh, was bare faced. Comes back here nicely in an handicap. Not well drawn, but with, with such a small feel, he could sit in a catbird seat and get into the top three. Number two, Nino Dorado, a slick customer. Last two were very poor. Uh, comes back here against two very fit horses, well, and horses that are, are in form. So Nino Dorado may have to wait, may have to wait, may have to wait, well, may have to wait. Number three, take two, ran very well on debut the 22nd of, of May going four from straight and uh, was with the leaders and stayed on to be three and third to adoration and commissioner who is here once again. Uh, nothing, nothing, no work on the exercise track and um, is now with first time visor on and top apprentice O'Shea Nugent gets the call, take two, should improve on that run and be a serious factor here. Number five, Junior Jones, a debutant, but a uh, four-year-old gray, gray coat by Fairless Vision out of Global by film director. Vintage Bloodstock owner and trainer, Michael Marlow. Owner and breeder, rather. Michael Marlow, the trainer. Louis Vassel, the groom. Juno Jones will debut with Tong Tai. Nothing to impress me, at least, on the exercise track. So I'm giving Juno Jones much, much more time. Number six, Avery and Ryan, another of Michael Marlow's entry. This horse will be there, will be getting first time Lasix after two career starts. Both were very poor. Number seven, Commissioner has been costly to follow. Has lost his races within close proximity of the winner. Then Nelson gets the call. Uh, Rowan Marty had one run with this horse, when this horse was moved to his table, and it was a very good one, this horse finished neck, and the so-called out-of-class horse adoration. Should fight this out. 
Number eight, Montgomery, another debutant, will be doubling with tongue tie, cheek pieces, and first time Lasix. This horse is bred for, well, it's a four year big filly bred blue Pepsi lot of Little Country Girl, of course, remember that one, the A class horse, trained by Wayne Acosta. Little Country Girl was what I've quoted warning. Uh, owner, Golden DM, trainer, David Powell, breeder, Trevor Dunkley Jr., the groom, Julius Johnson. Showed, showing some use on the exercise track but we'll need time my selection number three take two from number seven commissioner number one soul treasure number two nina Lerado. race five for native is a native bred trio main condition race men an uncharted start six furlongs or 1200 meters 13 horses were declared number two diamond in the sky approximately two months respite this horse is coming off and last two, she ran very well out the straight. Going around on the curve this time uh, could be a factor because the Cardenas gets the call and, um, and this horse definitely has some use. Number five, Lion Talk. Another that is showing some use on the local size track will be having the tongue tie off after two curves start in it, I'm expecting some improvement at least to get into your high five. Number six, Simba Dancer, they will be well finished the neck behind Baton Rouge out of five for a straight course. Going on the curve now, 57 kilos, Robert Aladdin remains. Simba Dancer should improve and could, should be the one to beat. Number seven, turn on the light. Uh, we hope for the leaders to falter a bit to get into the top three. Number eight, another champion, a debutant, trained by Philip Fiani, owned by Hamark, owned by Hamark Farms, bred by Hampstead Limited. This was born on January 29th, a chestnut coat by Market Rally out of Miss Chestnut, uh, by Horse Chestnut, which makes him a full brother to none other than Mark by Word. Richard Jones, the groom, debut, this horse will debut with Visor and first and Lasix. O'Shea Nugent gets the call. Has been around quite a long time. Uh, not a horse that impresses me, but you can never tell. Should, though, give a very, very good display. Number nine, Diamond Star, low exotic order. That's all I can say on, on her. Number 10, Leo. Well, he's back quickly. Came off a five month hiatus and ran well and ran and will run three races in three weeks. Fitter now. Well, he should. But hey, everyone is slick nowadays. Let's see what Leo has up its sleeves. Number six, Sam Simba the Lion. Number eight, another champion. Number two, Diamond in the Sky. Number 10, Leo. Number seven, turn on the light. That's the order of preference. Race six. Native Red Trios, who have never won two races, as well as imported trios and up, who are still maidens. That's the, that's what this race has for you to, for these horses to be here. 11 starters, 12 for, 1200 meters or six furlongs. The journey, number one, a debutant, a US imported horse. Uh, Manova, born the 3rd of May, a great filly, a trio great filly by overanalyzed by Jennifer's Moon, by Alphabet Soup, owned by Weir Family, Gabriel Sabrata the Trains, Dean Bear and Dean and Greg Bear, the trainer, Leon Sekul, the groom. Dean Dawkins gets the call, Lasix will be on. Has youth, but will need this race surely. Number two, King's Magician uh, broke slowly and last, but the latter race on the 29th of, of, of May, closed together within four lengths behind Super Duper, Shore Curling, uh, finishing third. That's a good run. I'm expecting a little bit of display comes tomorrow from King's Magician. Matri Fake, uh, US, another US importee who is here off a five month delay, but ain't doing much at exercise to warrant a winning chance. Number four, True Bravado showed some speed and was there with, with the top ones entering the stretch. 
uh, well, again, much better than what is here now. True bravado will be on the lead again, going to have a furlong longer. I don't see him winning, but you could pluck this one in your high five. Number five, she's my destiny. Made a, 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 a splashing debut, going six furlongs in one forty and four fifth quite easily. Uh, came back on the exercise track and in preparation for this race, uh, really impressed. 50, well, the allotted 49 kilos. My, my, wonder how comes. But anyway, we'll be going a kilo and a half for the service of, of Anthony Thomas. She's my destiny, expected by the Railbirds to win this one. Number six, Broken Light, should be given some consideration. A, a, a useful colt and uh, it should definitely be in the top five. Number seven, Pretty Cash, another US importy. Uh, looking a lot better since last race. Uh, this one is from the Gary Sabrata camp. But I'm going to wait one more race on this Pretty Cash. Number six, Bad Gal Riri, ran evening last of the 29th of May. Five and a half furlongs in the race won by Super Duper. Show Curlin was ahead behind King's Magician was there. Bad Gal Riri was another. I like King's Magician who broke very slowly from the box. The Uncle Giant will be having first time figure it on, uh, put on some weight, uh, didn't run all that well on last, that race with Stable Companion Super Duper, which majority of horses ran. Finished 15 on a quarter length tent. I has a lot to do. I don't think the figure it will make him uh, win, but could improve. Number 10, Sudden Flight was also in that race, another of Jason Costa's entry. Uh, we'll be getting first time, not first time, no, sorry. He has, he has won with the tongue tie. As a matter of fact, his best two races were with the tongue tie on. The first of January, four from straight, ran very well and could have won, finishing three quarters and second to Broken Light. As a matter of fact, I think he got that race. No, he didn't. Broken Light won, keeping a straight course and, and won that. Southern Flight came back with the tongue tie on on the 23rd of January going far from straight again and won very well. Uh, has not gotten that equipment back on since it's back on tomorrow. Number five, that's She's My Destiny. Number two, King's Magician. Number six, Broken Light. Number eight, Bad Galeri. Number nine, Gentle Giant. Seventh race for Trills It Up. It's a maiden, it's, it's a claiming race. 450,000, and they go five for them straight. Our 1,000 meters straight, eight were declared. Number two, Big Paul ran well and surprised me. And last, going to out the five for them straight and just failed by a neck to catch long term leader D Danger. The back here, uh, much lighter and with a more experienced apprentice, Big Paul could come big for connections. Number three, Super Emir ran for 550,000, and last is. Down a notch, 450,000 gets the services of Dick Cardenas. I'm expecting a better display from this from this horse. Number four, Diligent, rare, leaving the starting gates over a trip way too short. On last, the 17th of May, going five for long round, after rare and finished six and, a, six and a half length fourth to Mr. Ambassador, another commander, and Ellis Princess. Five for long straight is okay. Well, at least it's a better trip than the five for long round. Uh, diligent should be in the top four. Number six, Storm Princess run well, very, very disappointing. Alas, got a lot of tickets, sold nine to five at the 350,000 tag. Uh, coming down, that's on last week, the 25th of May. Back here with Anthony Thomas, up and a notch in the scale. Storm Princess can win. Number seven, Chris Hanley won four of his, of his last five outings. Um, really improving, but we'll have a bit more to run against. Uh, this horse is fit, so I'm taking number seven, Chris Hanley. From number four, Diligent. Number two, Big Paul should be a serious factor. Number three, Super Amia. Number six, Storm Princess. Eight race. It's for native bread fibers and up. It's a restricted long race. We've never won three uh, for 
five-year-olds, that is, was number one series in their lifetime. None were declared for this five from straight race. Uh, number one, St. Michael Fitgeldin, who ran well from a similar post on the 19th of April, finishing third, four lengths behind special counsel, as well. And, uh, and I can tell you those two horses are far better than any of these that is running in this race. So St. Michael, regardless of the draw, remember Dane Nelson, he rides well. So don't discount St. Michael. Number three, Barry Boy, well supported five days ago, from the 7th of July, going seven furlongs, uh, three to one. Odds finished 26 and a quarter and seventh after breaking very slow, slowly out of the box. Uh, we'll be getting Visor on. Well, let's see what that will do. Don't think it will make a difference. Number six, it's a beautiful day. Here's from a camp that is really doing well. Uh, Youthful Mayor, who is one of three that is in this race, who recently been promoted. Um, but regardless, it's a beautiful day. Adore the straight and should run well if focused to do so. Number seven, Eat and Dance, another with up in grade. I don't see this one winning. Number eight, Nurse Perse, mm, could be part of the top four. Number nine, Johnson Era Steel, recently changed stable after running out the straight uh, on the 18th of April, finishing five lengths, five and quarter length, fifth special counsel Zul. St. Michael was third, and um, Jensen River Steve was a two lengths behind St. Michael. Don't know what the chain of stable will do, Anthony Thomas again rides, but this horse is definitely a life contender, and I'm selecting number nine, Jensen River Steve. To win for number six, it's a beautiful day. Number one, St. Michael for third. Number three, Barry Boy. Well, should. Sorry. Not number three, better boy. Number eight, next per se. Number three, better boy. Uh, maybe it could factor somewhere in the lower order. The penultimate race, race nine, is the feature race of Salfa Trophy. Uh, uh, of course, Al Safra was a, I don't want to say a reject filly, but it was, this horse was born by a top owner from the Anthony Nunes camp, and they returned it. And it was fortunate for Norman Gordon and his friend to get this one to purchase. Of course, this horse is a Triple Crown winner and trainer Fitzsimmon Williams must be credited for this horse's performance as well as uh, Barbadian, no, sorry, Trinidadian top jockey, retired now and seeking his trainer's life in Brian Harden. They go a mile over 600 meters, 11 horses were declared for this. Number one, Uncle Frank uh, looks a very fit horse. But I, I'm a point to think that he's waiting on an easier opportunity. Well, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Number two, master of all, former stablemate of Uncle Frank. Uh, is that the Gregor Forsyth stable, a trainer who, who stands at a 31% winning average? <laughs> very, very good. Uh, this also, been com this also uh, is coming off a two and a half month respite, as well as a second change of stable since he last race. I've put in some, put on some weight and working okay. Well, working well, put it that way. On Sunday, that is, um, galloping three furlongs in thirty-five and four fifths. He has one off a layoff, but will uh, surprise me if he does that again here. Number four, double crown, 57 kilos. Uh, disregard his last two runs. Um, I'm expecting a better display, although I don't, you know, I, I don't think this one is going to win, but should run a very good race and may win. But my opinion stands. Number seven, Charlie Max has been looking his old self, looking very fit and ready, but may not be all that ready for this tough race. Number seven, excessive force. The horse to beat at this handicap, and um, I, I think this horse is going to make it right tomorrow. Number eight, awesome treasure. We'll get first time visor on. Let's see what that will do. Surely won't let her win. 
Number nine, Uncle Vinny, looking in excellent condition and working well. Sunday, the 6th of June, saw this one uh, pay strongly and, you know, did his workout easily and passed me very strong. Should be in the top five, especially if he can duplicate that run on the 27th of December last season when he got to a two and a half length over this very journey, the you know, super luminal wonder race. Number seven, though, excessive force from number four, double crown, number nine, Uncle Vinny, number two, master of all, very dangerous horse, but I'm leaving him off the top. You can consider if you want to carry him on top. It's your money. Number one, Uncle Frank, there for the lower order as well. The final race, race 10. So fours and up, native, well, number one, two races as well as imported fours and up or maidens. 10 declared, five and a half furlongs or 1100 meters. They go, number one, Daytona Bell. Chain stable since last race. Number two, Danny Spud. Back here off a nine month sojourn. Looking okay in the morning. Blinkers was on, la on last, it's off now. The Dawkins, he gets the call. Number three, John P, last two were poor, but it's a possibility. You can, we can disregard those. Number six, Lava Boy, should sit in a catbird seat and hope that the speed comes back and, and take this one. Number seven, uh, Sniper Man, then there's a rise again. Number eight, Duke of Springs, big size he was in Porty, who ran his best race and last. That was four for him straight though, the 25th of May last week uh four from straight finished two and a half and third to casual p to casual charm rather and another prosecutor is here once again let's see how he performs on the curve number nine toughness ran well without the blinkers up in grade now against tougher number 10 another prosecutor uh was too wasn't too Comfortable returning to the uncycling enclosure on last, that's the 25th of May, after after finishing a neck behind casual charm. Consistent filly though, but she ain't holding her gallop, approaching the winning post regardless of the distance. However, Cardenas is a very good rider and he could use his experience and make a difference this time around. I'm selecting number 10, another prosecutor, reluctantly. From number six, Lava Boy. Number eight, Duke of Springs. Number two, Danny Spud. Number seven, Sniper Man. My best two, rate five. Number six, Simba the Dancer. Simba the Lion, rather. Race nine, number seven, Excessive Force. Remember, experience the taste of Jamaica's pure pride bottled water, pure water, a pure water we drink. All you need to do in shops and supermarket, when you sit, take a bottle or two and experience the taste. If you don't, see Check out KD's vehicle Ask headlamp and restoration. Our headlamps are fine sanded, buffed to get and 9H coated take with care. a two-year guarantee. Join me. Price starting at $4,500. Internal restoration and modification starts at $8,000. To make Remember, an appointment today, call us at 876-824-6186. Well All is not over. Greetings, everyone. This is George Osang, listening to Open Gate Show. Number one, take a listen. Hello racing fan, this is Emilio Bimbo Rodriguez. Listen to the Open Gate Show with Colin Blair, giving you the latest tips and reviews on the horses. Big up the number one show. Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. <laughs> 